One player is going to play as a secret agent, spy. And their job is to infiltrate this Raxon facility and be able to reach three out of the four objectives that are going to be placed on the board and then be able to escape. All the other players are going to be playing the role of hunters that are trying to hunt him down to keep him from escaping. Or the hunters or the agent has four hit points. If they can take off all his hit points, then the hunters win. Okay. So in, in this, the app is going to actually help. It does help with the setup, so you select a number of players. Uh, so here, the hunters will select their characters. Then the agent is then going to select their character. Cool. So let's say everyone likes Blue Jay, so we'll pick Blue Jay. The agent also has equipment that they can use. So we don't have all the equipment uh, implemented yet, but it will before we go live with the app. So let's say we take a sm smoke grenade, a stun fill, and a flashbang. The app also randomizes uh, the objectives. Oh, so normally cool. you would have to roll the dice and then place, write it, write right. it down, place a token. So this will just speed that up by telling you where to place your tokens. So it's doing a lot of the legwork. Yes, exactly. Let, let the app do the legwork for you. And then also based on the number of players, it's going to tell you where, does, where the hunters actually start on the board. That's cool. And then once you do that, the game is then now ready to go. So now you're playing the game. Yeah. So as the agent, you move up to four spaces. So it's really just like you move and you try to stay hidden as much as possible. Okay. So the app is going to tell you where you can move. And, says, and you always want to like stay, like you know, get your back to a wall so that they can't see you. So you might want to tuck into the corner over there. Okay. And then now the hunter's turn. Now the hunter players will still be moving their pieces on the on the main board, mm -hmm. but the agent will be keeping track of their movement. So the puppet player might say, "Well, I'm going to move over to O13, and then I'm going to exit the vehicle." And then you see, like the blue lines will show you where they can the see. Line of sight, yeah. yeah. And then the player who's playing the gun will say, "Go up to here," and I'll say they want to exit the vehicle over here. And then it, the apps know is like what their special abilities are. So the gun has a special ability called Sniper Shot, where she can just focus in one direction. She cannot see anywhere else, because she only focuses on that one direction. But if you pass her line of sight, she will, she will automatically shoot you. So let's say that you hit yes, it'll say pick a direction. In this case, so the agent will know, okay, this is the dangerous zone to go through. And if you pick a space where it, it will go through there. You're going to get shot. Yeah, it's going to indicate that you're going to be you're seen through that. You know, you're in line of sight when you pass through. And also, you can you can drag your finger to pick your own path as well. Oh, cool. So, because where you place the the last seen token, this last seen token gives information to the hunters. So if I place the token here in this spot, the hunters definitely know I went in that direction. But if I place it here, they're not sure if I went that way or that way. So sometimes you want to do that. Okay, so let's say if you did that. This is a this is usually a bad move to go through the sniper shot. Right. It also tells you like where to place the token. So for first time players, it kind of guides them through the entire game for them. Yeah. Uh, up here, it keeps track of the number of hit points that you have. So in this case, you've been shot by the sniper shot, so you're going to lose one of the hit points. So keep track of it up here. Okay. But this is probably a bad move. So I'm going to I'm going to reset that round. And what you might want to do is instead. Maybe use a piece of equipment, so it keeps track of what equipment that you have. And so when you use the equipment, it's going to tell you where all the legal spaces that you can use. Now, that was a flashbang grenade that I selected. And maybe I want to blind both of these guys, because they can both see that spot. I place it right there. So now it's eliminated the line of sight, <laughs> so they won't be able to see. So now you can move across right. without being spotted. That was a really good sound effect, by the way. Oh, thanks. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> So, and then like, he's got the special ability, he can use the vehicle's motion sensor, so when you select that, it sends out the waves, and then a lot of times like the, uh, the agent will say, okay, where's the vehicle, where am I standing, so what's my direction, so the app will take care of all of that for you. Cool. So, so it's a really just like a helper app, but yeah. it's got, it enfor helps enforce all the rules, because hidden movement games, if you make a mistake, then it could, the, uh, the hunters, whatever deduction that they were doing, it could invalidate all the work that they were doing. Right. So, yeah. No, that's really good. I see, it looks really good. Like it's this is a nice, this is a nice, nice setup. Like, Thanks, yeah. I mean, we went we went to the extra effort to make sure like we have like a full 3D environment because we right. want to immerse you into the game. And uh, not not that you would, but okay. it, it feels like you could almost 
make this like a standalone version of the game yes. digitally. Yes. It's, it's not going to take that much more effort to make it a standalone right. version of the game. Is that effort you're going to do? Uh, it is something that we are going to do. Cool. Our first step is to see, we, we want the people who bought the game to actually have an enhanced experience. Of course. Yeah. Our next step is, I think that we'll probably pursue uh, online multiplayer, but like asynchronous multiplayer. Yeah. So one person would make their move, and then it would send a notification to their friend, and then he would make his move, and so forth. Right. So they, they can play online. And then I've been getting a lot of requests for AI, so that you could play it as a solo game. Right. Your tablet. Yeah, I was going for a... Uh XCOM-ish exactly. kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. But no, this is but it's fun. Yeah, yeah man. So this is but this is totally optional. Like you do not unlike XCOM where XCOM you absolutely need the app. Right. And XCOM's a great game by the way. Yeah. Uh, so in, in that one you need the app. This one is it's optional. You don't need yeah. it, but it's something that's there to enhance the experience. Sure. Absolutely. It's cool. Yeah, this one just went got into we're just starting to do beta testing for it. Okay. So it's not quite out yet. So. Right. But still, no, it looks it already looks really good. I, even as a companion app, it's a awesome. It really comes out.